I grew up with a blue screen and I guess another lot of you also did. Um, first thing I always do is put a cartridge in, the Actually Play Professional, because it has a turbo loader included and that really rocks if you try to load any games. Okay, let's see, we've got a lot of images and with auto start you can easily load them up. Um, so let's start with our first game. Let's start Monster Mayhem Adventure. This game is also available um, on the Wii Virtual Channel. However, the SID emulation on the Wii Virtual Channel version is terrible. Um, it doesn't sound correctly. As we're using WISE here, the sound emulation and the uh, C64 emulation is as accurate as it can get right now. So there are a lot of things working perfectly. And yeah, you will see that later when I run some scene demos. Next we've got Jumpman. Um, as you can probably see, as I grew up with that system, I can play that game better than any fighting game. There are a lot of C64 games where I'm way better than if I try to show you any arcade games. I grew up with that stuff and I really love to share my memories. Of course, there's another game that's great on the C64 that's Turrican. Turrican is basically great on every system. It shows really what the system can do. And well, here's Turrican 1. This one was a request from the boards, so I would have shown it anyways. That's Hero, also one of my favorite classic games on the C64. I still need to play through all the levels, I think there are about 20 of them. I think I got to level 12 or 13 without cheating so far. Now there's International Karate Plus. To be honest, I played this game on my Amiga. Um, didn't play the C64 version before, but it's very similar to the Amiga version. And I really love SID music, so that's a cool game for me. Now there's another request from the boards. Uh, a very weird game where you're a pig having to eat and then grabbing the toilet at the end. It's a pretty new game. Nobody knows why it exists. I think it was because of some uh, competition or something like that. But here you go, works. Then we've got Uridium, one of the other games from Yusen. One of the better fight, uh, shooter games on the C64. Mr. Elvin Atom Bender. Whoever owned the C64 probably has played that game. Um, I actually finished it, but that was long ago. Have to retry. I think it's pretty hard, but certainly you can finish the game. Now there's one of my favorite arcade conversions. That's Bubble Bobble on the C64. It's a pretty good conversion, so I'm not sure if it, that's just because this was the version I first played, or if it's just because the conversion is really good. Now we've got summer games. I totally forgot how to play all those disciplines, so ouch, that must have hurt. And I got another one from Summer Games 2 for you. We have to do canoe stuff. I always played word games and winter games. I was never too fond of summer games. But it's one of those games where you could kill your joystick. Now there's Ford Apocalypse. Um, another request. I heard a lot of good things about that game. It has been praised a lot. Though I never 
crew one with it. It's not the type of game I usually play. And next we've got Lazy Jones. The interesting thing is there are a lot of mini games inside this game. So, well, basically it's Pandora Panic or uh, the mini game project from the uh, GP2X in its earliest form with lots of stupid little mini games, but it's really fun. Next, there is Sanction from Talamos. Never were too fond of that game either. But it was a request, so yes, as you can see, it runs nice. Next we got Yia Kung Fu. Um, I was always playing the International Karate series. So I don't know the moves here. I was way better at playing International Karate. Now, another request, Commando. Running the same as on the C64, with sprites disappearing and flickering sometimes, because there's a lot of uh, things going on at the same time on the screen, but it really has a great soundtrack. Now there's Bomb Check 2. Not many people like that game, but I thought it was pretty decent. Uh, and well, it had a good soundtrack as well. As said, I love sit music, so I, tr I prefer games which have uh, soundtracks while playing. Okay, now I got some requests for scene demos on the C64. Someone on the board said he's never seen any mobile system that can run them full speed. So, well, lay back and enjoy some screens from those two demos. They run nice. And it shows how accurate the C64 emulation is on the Pandora, um, since usually they use every aspect, every, every trick that usually only runs on the real hardware. But Wise is such a good emulator. Well, enjoy the last screens from this and the next demo. And I'd say we, we see you again tomorrow with the next video. So enjoy your day, have fun in the snow out there. Bye.